Hey guys, welcome back to the Chelsea's Kitchen. Today we have a very special guest, my friend Taryn, who's also known on Instagram as Miss Ladyfinger, and she does some amazing nail art. So we've decided to join forces again to create a cake inspired by a nail art look. So we're doing this with a Halloween theme, and I'm going to let Taryn tell you a little bit more about the nail look. So in nails, we have this technique called dry brushing, which is essentially wiping the polish off the brush and creating a lot of texture on the nail. So we picked colors that are very Halloween inspired. Obviously you can see purple, orange, and black to create this really rich texture. And then on top, we're gonna create some spider webs. So to kind of copy the spider web look that we have on our nails onto the cake, we're gonna melt down some marshmallows, which we're then just gonna stretch all over the cake. So it should be a lot of fun. We're gonna get started with the nail art look and then we'll get going on the cake. So after you start with two coats of white polish, we're gonna do this technique called dry brushing where you wipe most of the polish off the brush like so and then lightly drag the brush across the nail so it creates this kind of cool texture. Next, you're gonna repeat that exact same thing, the dry brushing technique with purple, just lightly dragging the brush across the nail. And then with your orange polish, you're gonna do the same exact thing, layering on top of the lines that you just made. So using a striper, next you're gonna make a line down the center of the nail, a line across the nail, and then you're gonna do the same thing, but diagonally. Finally, to make your little cobwebs, you're going to make little U's connecting each of the lines that you made. So we've applied a crumb coat to our five layers of cake, and we're now going to apply some stripes of frosting along the cake, which we're going to smooth using our cake bench. So as you can see, I've put four colors of frosting into piping bags, and I've left pretty wide tips at the bottom because we're going to do some nice thick stripes. However, my one caveat is that we're using orange, purple, and black and white, but for the black, I left a very, very small tip at the end because the black can really overtake the other colors when you smear, so we really want to make sure we're only using a teensy bit of black. So we're going to start off with the white, actually, and then we're going to get going on our other colors. So we're just going to do this kind of randomly. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's all going to get smeared together in the end anyways. Now that we have all of our white on, we're going to go for some orange. So we'll get ready for a bright pop of color. Now that we have on our white and our orange, we're gonna apply some purple. And now we're gonna apply some thin bits of black. Now that we have all of our frosting onto our cake, we're gonna smear it with our handy dandy cake bench. Right, so now that we have all of our colors onto our cake, which we applied over our crumb coat, we've taken a bag of marshmallows and we've heated them in the microwave for about 30 seconds. And now, as you can see, they're starting to kind of melt together and we're gonna keep stirring it until it cools to the touch. And then we're gonna just pull them apart and drag them over the cake. And just like that, our cobweb cake is complete, and we even have Spencer the Spider on top to prove it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like and subscribe button below. And if you want to see any future nail-inspired cakes, please definitely let us know in the comment section. I will be back in the Chelsea's kitchen soon. Alright, now let's cut into this cake. Okay. 